Hi and welcome back to another episode of Up The Shed. This episode we're going to be looking at changing the way that we mount the three jaw and collet chuck onto the Sieg SC4 lathe. Don't forget guys, if you haven't already, hit that subscribe button and click on that notification bell just to make sure you don't miss any of the great content coming up in the future. Let's get you into the bench. Well as you can see at the bench I've got my three jaw, my collet chuck and my new four jaw that I purchased recently. So with all of these, um, the way that they are, or the way they're normally fixed to the lathe, to the back plate on the spindle, is to essentially hold onto the spindle with the recess, and then the bolt comes in from behind, and then screws into the respective M8 hole. The only problem with this is, is that behind the back plate there's only about three quarters of an inch, 20 millimeters of play. So when I bought my four jaw, the first thing I did was find some eight mil. These are actually uh, Allen head like long grub, grub screws, <clears throat> but I fixed these in with some thread lock so that they can literally fit straight through the back plate, and then we can tighten some nuts down on the back. So today's project is going to be just that. So I'm going to mount the collet chuck on the lathe to actually do this. Um, and I've got some threaded rod, some M8 threaded rod here. So we'll clean this up and then part it off to length um, to suit. And then hopefully these will be a lot easier to set up and certainly a lot quicker um, in the future. I found this to be very quick when I mounted it the other day. So I'll get this together, we'll get this mounted and um, we'll get you in close to the lathe. Well as you can see we've got M8 threaded rod mounted in the collet chuck and as I say there's not a lot of wiggle room in here to get these these bolts in. So what we're going to do we're going to clean the end up, clean the thread up, just fold the, uh, the face end and then we'll part it off. <coughs> so I want these for the collet chuck to be the depth of the collet chuck itself and then I'll measure the depth that we've got on the four jaw and add those both together to make a bolt that will be nice and strong in there and once I've cut one I'll look at what we've got on the three jaw and most of we just do them all the same length so uh, let's get to it Okay, so we've got a measurement of 17 millimeters there, but I think we'll call that 15. We've got 17 on the actual uh, four drawer itself. So we'll part these off. Thirty-two. Okay, let's square to the chuck. And there we have our first 
M8 stud. So off camera I'm going to get the rest of these made and then I'll bring you back and then we'll mount them back into the collet chuck and just face the end and, and clean them up. Okay, so I'll bring you back then. Right, so we're back at the lathe again. All six of the short 32mm studs are all machined one end and cleaned. So I just need to flip them around back in the collet chuck. We're going to face them, give them a quick chamfer with a file and then we'll go back to the bench. Um, we'll remove the collet chuck obviously then we'll go back to the bench and fit these into the three jaw and the collet chuck itself. Okay so let's get these six faced and chamfered. Okay, that's the first one done. We'll get the other five done off camera and I'll bring you back to the bench. Well, as you can see, we've got all six machined. Just give them a quick wipe down. And then we'll get some thread lock on them and set them in their respective holes with a 17mm upstand. Seems quite loose in there. We're going to need quite a bit more. Okay, so we'll get these all in on our I'll set them afterwards, I think. Too much on that one.
Okay. Perfect. Okay, so they're all set at 17 millimeters now. So we'll just let them set up and dry. And wipe away all the excess. It's quite cold up the shed today, um, so these might take a little while to set up. But that's fine. So essentially, we'll end up obviously been able to mount these from behind now which is uh, really good certainly make changing them over a darn sight quicker so, all good another little project done well that's it for this little episode from up the shed hopefully it's giving you some ideas what you could do with your own mini loaves just to make it a little bit easier to mount those chucks save a little bit of time especially if you're doing you know chuck changes throughout your the process of, of whatever you're manufacturing if you've liked this video then please like and subscribe and as always hit that notification bell guys to ensure that you don't miss any of the great content coming up as always guys please stay safe take care and we'll see you on the next one thanks for watching